Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Adam E. And I'm going to be going over three releases. So this is pretty much going over the band. First Days of Humanity. And we're going to be blasting Remains. Now, we're one. Hailing from Phoenix, Arizona. First Days of Humanity are one of those gore grind bands that obviously listen to last days of humanity. But there's a little gimmick here. And the gimmick is very cool because I'm a nerd about this type of stuff. But where last days of humanity, pardon for, I'm sorry, I should have done this in advance. But where Last Days of Humanity really, you know, don't play games when it comes to brutal and whatnot. Here are the first Days of Humanity. But, but, here's the fun part. Where Last Days of Humanity are pro it's probably some of the darkest. Alongside, like, Disgorge Mexico. Some of the darkest, like, gore grind ever written is probably here on hymns. But, like, the sounds of rancid juices sloshing around your coffin, a little more, like, it's still gore grind, but, like, the, the brutal death metal that exists here, again, very, very dark. And Grindfather Productions did these three. Well, they might have done more. But I have three, thanks to Adam, and we're playing Remains right now. And here's what's so cool about this, is you also get caves. And I forgot to tell you about the gimmick. The gimmick of first days of humanity is literally the first days of humanity. Going back to prehistoric savagery and like... Just barbaric acts of, you know, survival. And I think that's a cool subject to work off of. Because just like looking at like, you know, anthropology. And like just all, all, there's so much cool stuff that you could take from. That's not just cannibal exploitation films. And that's one of the reasons I really really enjoy first days of humanity and all these releases like everything by uh chris tapo just sick guy like i i love the vocals i, I everything it's if you're looking for gore grind and you're new to the genre first days of humanity might be one of your first like gnarly gore grind bands that you're gonna like. There's your have a nice sample, like, but like I would say honestly, oh my goodness, I just saved. Oh no, no, hold on, I'm sorry. There's like gnarly default. This is all gonna fall. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, but. See, that's how savage last first days of humanity are. And again, these tapes are so sick because now we get to enjoy caves. Because I'm going to flip the tape over. But also, let me get back to what I was saying for a second. But, like, there's remains. And then, caves. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I like this type of stuff. I know it's nerdy. I don't care. Like, I, I legit, you know, Grindfather Productions. I, I love this label. But we're going to now be playing a little bit of caves. And um, you get five tracks on here. and. 
See, I, I'm pretty sure these are... Like, I'm, I'm trying to remember. And again, I, I don't have a cheap phone or anything on me. Like, are these separate, like, 7 inches? Slash, like, ETs? Like, I think everything's 5 tracks. I, I forget off the top of my head. But we still have some more stuff to listen to. But right now, just look at the cover. It, it's fantastic. And you already know what you're getting here with a track called Fashioning Weapons Out of Bone and Snoo. You're getting some gnarly gore grind. I mean, like I said, if you know, last days of humanity, it's first days of humanity here. So, if somebody's telling you, like, yeah, I like Gore Grind, one of my favorite bands is First Days of hum First Day of Humanity, don't be like, it's Last Days of Humanity, dipshit. No, they might be talking about First Day of Humanity. Two completely separate projects. Like I said, I really like the, the whole gimmick. Like, just like the For Your Listening pr Pleasure going from an ape to a man with a guitar. It it's, hails to Grindfather Production, DIY Grindcore label and distro for passion, not fashion. Hell yeah. And now, we'll move on to display real quick. And then... I love these kind of tapes as well. I always call them the Oreo cookie, but here it looks like we have a lemon cookie. But, uh, displayed and the sinister. I think I said that correctly. But we're going to switch it up real quick, just because that's why these releases are so cool. And again, if you're looking for some really awesome gore grind, straight to the point, all killer, no filler, like, I, it, this shit rules. Like, see, it, it rules. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. There's plenty of other gore grind bands to listen to. I'm looking at a shitload right now, but I really like First Day of Humanity. Like, shit's sick. And I really like the blue tape and stuff. But we're going to move on now to displayed. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the title. Uh, the Center? The Center. Oh my god. Like Disintegrate. I'm an idiot. So, I, again, I just, I love little attentions to detail with, like, the tape cosmetics. But what does First Day of Humanity displayed sound like? Well, I already told you. If you were paying attention, we have some really gnarly gore grind. And it's great. It's really well written. Like, four tracks on the here, and... We have uh, Jax on vocals. I, I swore that First Day of Humanity was a one-person project, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, okay, that, that's cool. Because here, uh, Tapo on instruments and vocals. Oh, and maybe it's just guest vocals. Jax? I, I really don't know. Here, Tapo instruments and Jax vocals. And that's on... Uh, the center, like the center great. I don't know how I, I screwed that up. I apologize. But it's just, again, you know, to me, really top shelf gore grind. And some of you might, be, again, you might be like, what? Like first day of humanity's top shelf gore grind? Well, 
here's where I'm coming from on this. So let's say you only have heard like miasmic necrosis or something along those lines, like sulfuric cautery, for example. Like you saw them live and you were like, yo, this shit's sick. Like what other bands can I get into that sound like this? And I really think it's cool. Like having, you know, these double releases, like caves and remains, like this shit is awesome. And it's out there. Thanks to uh, goat throne records for, I meant not Go Goat Thrones also an amazing label, but Grindfather Productions. Like, I swear, everything Grindfather puts out, it's, like, amazing. And it, it always feels to be that way, and that's not a bad thing. And again, we got nice tape cosmetics. But I know some people right now are screaming, Lapoma! Tell them about Lapoma! Well, yeah, definitely check out Odes to Suffering. I, if I pull a tape out, I will cause a papal latch, papal latch. And like I see, but now I, I want to listen to Stages of Decomposition by Purulent Remains. So, all right, if you hear a loud noise, I'm sorry. All right, so I could show you this also. But, like, aside from, like, miasmic necrosis, obviously carcass is a really early carcass. is a very easy gore grind band to get into. Septage, I would say, really, really easy to get into. And especially... If you're not really comfortable with, like, the real-life gore, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's where, like, some bands, like, you know, First Day of Humanity, some of the releases aren't too gnarly, but, yeah, there's some real skeletons and stuff like that, and... You know, if that stuff bothers you, I don't know why you're even messing around with gore grind. Like, seriously. And when you have tracks like reaching into your eye sockets, losing consciousness while being eaten, impaled by tusks. Oh my goodness, I love it. I seriously love this gimmick of just, like, legitimate Neanderthal, like, gore grind. But... I'll get to La Poma in a second, but this is so exciting. Check out my review of that. I absolutely love that cassette. And that band, like, it's a compilation and shit. It's so goddamn good. But, uh, gonna put the center on for a few moments. And again, I, I, I just, if you are a Last Days of Humanity fan, if you're a fan of gore grind in general, you already know what you're getting yourself into here. And it's great. But only if you're into this type of stuff. Like, if you're new to the genre, I do feel like this is a good starting point. But... Odes to Suffering, it's a little bit more gnarly and out there, but, like, there's some, like, straight up, like, and I don't know how they made it, like, work, but, like, there's some, it's kind of like the new Pharmacist record at times, but, like, they, it, it, sound, it sounds almost like what heart work should have been. And if you know what I'm saying, that's why I mean, like, it's a little bit easier to get into. Like, it... Because gore grind's gnarly. Like, I'm not, like, just saying that. Like, it, it really is. And, you know, there's certain bands that are 
no pun intended, a little bit easier to digest than others. But the sick shit is where it's at. To me, I mean, like again, you might be like, oh, like, like, but like seriously, bands like Dead Infection, Melting Rot, like they have their own style of like gore grind. So, but like first day of humanity, first days of humanity, it's just so sick that like they just, I, I don't know, I, I really feel like when it comes to gore grind. I'd honestly, ra uh, I would rather be listening to last days, but first days roll. And I saved this last double release for a reason, because it's my favorite that I have. And that's Wound Seeking, Congolated Sludge, and Lithic. And just look at that ketchup and mustard tape. Hails to Grindfather Productions for just caring. And again, the death is real. I think. Yeah, it looks pretty real to me. I don't I don't think that's uh Photoshop. But here we have 13 tracks and eight tracks. And tapo on all instruments and vocals. So I don't know. Tapo, all instruments and vocals. And this is a 2022 double release. Malefic is so sick, but wounds leaking congolated sludge. I can't wait to put this on right now. First days of humanity, Phoenix, Arizona. Some A plus gore grind. Like, I don't know what else to say. It's pretty much like. I don't want to say the McDonald's of gore grind, but like you can't go wrong if you're a fan of gore grind and you're looking for some, you know, blasting, over the top, sickening vocals of a good time. And I kind of like this little, I don't know if it was a purposeful nod to like swans, but like just keeping. The title, like, just front and center, just in, like, regular font. If I didn't know anything, like, if I didn't know that this was gore grind, this could be death metal, this could be power violence, could just be regular grindcore. But, since I know First Days of Humanity, I know I'm getting some, like I said, in my opinion... Kind of top shelf, like, gore grind. Because all three of these tapes, like I said, they're double releases. And there's not a track on here if it was a CD where I'd be like, eh, it's whatever. Trust me. You don't, you don't need to hear that. Like, no, it's kind of the opposite. Like, to me, Lithic is, like, just such a fun listen. Not, not lithic, uh, I meant le wounds leaking congolated sludge along with lithic. These were one of the reasons I started at a BC Lives because, like, I wanted to like make something kind of over the top and like just super gnarly and like with our new pitch shifter and stuff. Like, I can't wait to like make like the proper at BC lives demo but frog mist we have a big announcement coming up i can't wait but if you live in new york just get stoked because it's going to be the closest you're going to get to an accursed womb live show but yeah Wounds Leaking Congoluted Sludge. Like I said, 13 tracks, bowel sewn shut. You know exactly what you're getting into here as soon as you see the cover. This is a different story where with Lithic, you don't really know. Here, I absolutely know what I'm getting myself into. And if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. 
But I also like how Grindfather Productions, I think on each tape... No, nah, no. Nah. But, like, just the way Grind Grindfather Productions put these out as double releases instead of being greedy just hails for, you know, not taking advantage of the fan base. Because that's another thing about gore grind and just grind in general. It can get a little overwhelming if you're a fan of a band that's just like, here's a release, here's a release, here's a release, here's a release. And I'm talking physical shit where, like, they won't have a full length, but they'll have 13 splits. That hap like that legit happens way more than you would think. Now, it time it's one of those things. It really hasn't changed. You'll see a lot of grind bands. They'll do a really sick demo, then like a split, then like maybe like if they tour like a tour promo, then you won't hear anything for like a wee bit. Then they'll come out with another split, and then another split slash seven inch, and then maybe, maybe you'll get a full length, but wounds leaking, convoluted sludge, oh, I love it, but also lithic. This is probably my favorite of the two tapes. Like, Lithic and Wounds. Just having both of these. Because, like... Like I said, this was, like... One of those releases, when I first heard it, I was like, dude, I... I, I, I mean, no offense by this, but I was like, yo, I can do this. Like, legit, I was like, dude, I can do this. So, I... I you know, like, when I first did At A BC Lives, I was like, hey, Pat, like, check this out. And, like, I had just done it myself, like, using the Mavis as a drum machine. I just, like, made it sound like blast beats. And I, I just, like, uh, used these, like, effects on my vocals and just, like, added just like straight like noise behind it and next thing you know like now we have like one of the best best pitch pitch shifters in the game we're getting show offers it, it's pretty fucking cool I'm, I'm pretty i'm honestly very stoked like the fact that frog mist has transcended from a 20 year old joke like it was legit a joke 20 years ago in a in a re and if you have this issue uh it was a relapse newsletter it might have been one of the last relapse newsletters they ever did but it's in there it's uh, staff picks so if you made it this far into the video like, that's the thing. I love lore. And the lore behind First Days of Humanity, I think, is awesome. Because the gimmick is great. Caveman, like, early days influenced gore grind. Like, come on, that's awesome. Because sometimes it's like, you know... We all know how awesome singing about rotting corpses is for some weird reason. But First Days of Humanity really, I feel, just do something where it allows fans that, fans of like brutal death metal that are like new to like the hyper blasting madness of you know, most score grind bands, I feel like first Days of Humanity should be your first cassette of gore grind. Honestly, like, if I was going to be getting into the genre and somebody was like, so what's a good modern band? 
I would just be like, yo, right here, these two. Listen to them both, like, for real. Listen to Wounds and listen to Lithic. And if you don't like it, you know, maybe, you like, throw on Symphonies of Sickness, Reek of Putrefaction. They're gonna like Necroticism. And they're gonna like the new Pharmacist record, Flourishing Extremities on Unspoiled Mental Grounds. Almost guaranteed. But if you show them, you know, medical renditions of grind and decomposition, they might be like, oh, that's a little too gnarly. And if that's the case, then like I said, you're in the wrong, you're barking up the wrong tree. You should probably just stick to, like, if you're a brutal death metal fan, but you're like, oh, like, I want to get into gore grind. Like, what are some good bands? Like I said, you know, you really can't go wrong with last days of humanity. But they might be a little bit too gnarly visually. If you have a family and stuff like that, I mean, I have a Last Days of Humanity shirt right here that, you know, I wear outside <laughs> and stuff. And I get some, I'm not going to show the art, but it's for um hymns. Oh my god. But um, yeah, people do not like seeing that type of stuff in public. And... It's kind of like, don't talk to me. Like, I'm wearing this sh this shirt, just leave me alone. But, like, if somebody legit was like, because, like, I wouldn't just, and I, I'm sorry, I'm not being a gatekeeper, but I would not send somebody brand new to the genre to disgorge forensic. As soon as they see the cover, they're going to be like, ah, nah, this isn't for me. I almost guarantee it. Like, a lot of people even tell me, they're like, yo, you're a fuck. Like, I don't believe you like that. I'm like, dude, I fucking, I just love Disgorge Mexico. Like, sorry. I mean, I even have this. So, it's not like I just like them for the gore, like, artwork and stuff. Like, I, I like, I, I love Disgorge Mexico's tunes. And yeah, they do have some really gnarly artwork. But, like, it's just, it's all part of the game, folks. And if you don't know what the game is, the game is just, how, like, when it comes to certain genres, how brutal can you be? Like, for real. <laughs> I know, like, when it comes to death metal, some people look at Pissgrave, and they're like, oh, it doesn't get much gnarlier than Pissgrave, and... I hate to tell you, but it kind of does. You just have to dig a little bit. But Piss Grave, yeah, Suicide Euphoria, I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, one of the gnarliest covers ever. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like pulling the demo out. The only thing I don't have on cassette, please somebody reissue it. Or one of the Fenton brothers, do me a dub. But thank you again to Adam E. for making this little bio of First Days of Humanity possible. Just like I said, legit, some real killer top shelf gore grind that is very easy to get into. And I mean that in the best way possible. I know gore grind is not for everybody. It's not meant to be accessible. It's meant to be super fucking gnarly. And that's why you have stuff like this, you know, but I already went over that and whatnot, but like Gastropod is so, I love this, and Cistroblastoises, but like Morgue Breath is a very easy band to get into, I feel, Melting Rot, I could just go on and on and name a lot of bands, but I would rather you folk honestly like find some real sick shit on yourself using first days of humanity and last days of humanity as your starting point and see where it gets you. Like, thank you again to Adam E for making today's video possible via the Patreon. Very much appreciated. Hails to Sweden because that's where he lives and it's very much appreciated and.
Links will be in the video description. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule.